Oh, hey guys. Something's going on with my eye. <laughs> we were totally fine last night until probably about seven. And it started feeling really like itchy and a little bit painful. And we had some work to do. So it started watering really bad. I thought, oh, I've got pink eye. It started getting really red. I've started some pink eye drops that I had with me and it doesn't seem like it's pink eye. And I woke up and I can barely open it. Okay, thanks. So bad news is we fly to Vietnam and just sit like three hours. So we're not quite sure what to do. Uh, this is kind of our first unknown medical issue so far, so pretty bad. Hopefully I don't have like Zika or something, but we'll keep you posted. Grace actually like hit me in the eye yesterday really bad. Oh no. I think she might have cut my eyeball a little bit. Because for whatever reason it won't stop watering today. Oh no. Or it could be we just watched a show at a hotel the other day about a parasite in someone's eye. Oh. Oh. <laughs> could be that too. Gross. Just <laughs> Gross. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Another successful day in Chiang Mai. Ooh. We're sad to leave. <laughs> Hello Vietnam tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. Follow, follow us. us on Instagram and Facebook. And YouTube. And all the things that you know. Okay, Lucy's accents are pretty bad. Just subscribe and follow us around the world with our five kids. Lucy's the oldest. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Well, it's total chaos. I was managed to talk to a doctor this morning on a video call. He's one of our staff members. Her dad was a doctor. Didn't know that. And she was so kind to get him on a video call with me. And it sounds like, come on. Sounds like I have the right antibiotics already that will work, and now I can't find them. I put some in my eye this morning, and I can't find it. I even went back to the house to look for it. I can't find it. Come on, Grant. Come on, Harrison. So, just saying a lot of prayers that I slipped it in somewhere, and I will find it when we get there. My eyes feeling a little bit better. Not great. It hurts really bad. Basically, it says I probably just have an infection. If it doesn't get better in 48 hours, I have to go to a doctor. Exhausted. I've had like four hours of sleep. It's killing me. I can't find my eye drops. We've somehow entered a twilight zone on our luggage. It was very clear that we were going to be overweight on every single bag, including our carry-ons. We're expecting to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars. We show up, they expedite us to the front of the line, and we don't pay. Somehow I ended up with the two youngest. He does not really feeling well. So this is really fun. They have these funny seat belts. No, they're not gonna give you something to eat. Feel like we're on a barbecue? And my eye is killing me, people. Welcome to Vietnam! Welcome to Vietnam! We just exchanged our Thai bot, which we had more than I thought we did. So now we are millionaires. Yep. We go on a cruise tomorrow. We don't have enough diapers. We're at a diaper, it's for Gracie. So I was like, we'll just hit a 7-Eleven. There ain't no 7-Elevens. Good luck. We rented these bikes okay. in the night. <laughs> it's like, it's 8-17. No, 8-18, no. 
We came to what Google Maps said was a Kmart and it was a empty Google lot. Google Maps is starting to lose my trust. <sighs> it lied to us. So now we have to go keep going. Right, let's see, let's see your action. Go start writing. Mm. Which way? Ellie, I'll fly in just a second. Okay. Here she goes. <sighs> Riding our bikes in Vietnam, not knowing anywhere that we're supposed to go. We called the cruise company and put it on hold till tomorrow just in case Chris wants to go with the kids or in the rare chance that I might be able to join them. Um, and, and then they called this clinic and a doctor here and, and I said, can I have an appointment? You know, and they just said, no, just go. So it's like a two and a half hour drive. So I got here at like 4.10. I walked in, found someone who speaks English, showed him my note written in Vietnamese and found out that that doctor had left at four. And I literally, I literally just started to cry. It's scary, you guys. I'm here by myself. I don't speak Vietnamese, like this is really scary stuff. Again, really glad it's me and not one of the kids. And sometimes it's easier to be the one going through it, right, than the one having to watch. Um, Cause I'd be really stressed out if this was Chris too, but anyway, uh, through some obvious like <laughs> finagling, they just got me up to a doctor here who I think was like done with her day. And um, she looked and said, and I'll see a flap, which is good news because there shouldn't be a flap, but you do have like a, an abrasion, like a wound, and then you have two points of infection and we may need to culture that, but you have to come back tomorrow. So I brought my bag. I actually packed in case I needed to fly to the United States tonight because Chris and I were like, I don't know. Like in how long they were talking about maybe suturing something on my eye and it would take a couple weeks of healing and uh. <laughs> So I packed just in case I needed to hop on an airplane tonight to, get to probably to Utah because that's where I had my eye surgery done. But really anywhere in the US. We've also talked about um, Bangkok or Singapore because Bangkok has really great medical care actually and is really close and Singapore is extremely first world. So anyway, this doctor was super nice. She called the head of their department and just said, like basically asked if he'll see me tomorrow between 8.30 and 9.00 and, and he'll look at me then. I'm supposed to use the drops I have. I, I have a prescription to go buy two more one drop, one cream, um, but to be honest, I'm like super hopeful that I'll be better tomorrow. I'm, so, I could not keep this eye open this morning. Now I think I do have maybe like a numbing drop <laughs> in my eye at the moment, so it probably feels better than it will in an hour. Because um, they did that this morning, and I was like, oh relief! But then it came back with a vengeance and made me cry again. So anyway, I better go buy this while I can still keep my eye open. I've been sporting my sunglasses and I just wanted to let you know that medical emergencies, you know, do occur and how it's going for me. So hopefully I'll be able to see someone in the morning and if I'm really lucky, maybe head back to Holland Bay and join the family. Um, because they, they told me if it's just a bacterial infection, then the the boat is fine. I mean, it's no different than being anywhere else. So. Anyway, it's pretty rough. I'm gonna go by these and then hopefully find somewhere to sleep. All right, just an eye update. It's been a long couple of days. I went to the doctor in Hanoi. I showed up to his office, the head of the corneal department and after pushing my way through past a couple of other people because I realized that's how things work 
He saw me and said he doesn't see any signs of infection, only Mommy. So he went ahead and pulled sort of a dead piece of skin off of my eye, my cornea, that was probably hurting a lot, although it's hurting a lot now too. <laughs> okay, just give me a minute. And thankfully I'm back with the family in Halong Bay. So we're headed to our cruise and uh, I'm just supposed to keep up drops and ointments. It looks really stellar right now. Uh, thankfully I've heard from a few viewers that they've had the same experience and seen their lovely pictures like this and know that hopefully it will return to normal at some point. So in the meantime, I am Pirate Mummy. We actually talked about me getting a patch, but he didn't give me one. Get two so I'm Pirate Mummy aboard the Halong Bay Cruise. Huh, Daddy? That's right. <laughs> El Pirata. El Pirata. El la, pi la Pirata, maybe. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so that's the update on my eye. Hopefully it continues to improve. Uh, it is a little, little bit less sensitive to light today, although it's so swollen that it just stays closed on its own. So that's the way I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Uh, can that I stop the recording? No, Dad. Tell about your experience while I was gone. Okay. So a few things. One. You should know that whenever Leslie goes out of town, uh, I pretty much have the hardest time sleeping at all, period. So it's pretty par for course that I end up staying up sometime two or three in the morning. It's really difficult. Whether I like it or not, I hear noises, I get stressed about the kids, I think I checked on the kids due to noises like four times last night. Uh, Harry got up a few times, but basically I just was up. Anyways, so, I woke up this morning thinking it's gonna be a calm morning. I'll have the whole morning to pack and get ready to go on our little excursion. And uh, Leslie's gonna be hopefully done with her appointment and we'll see how that goes and come back. And so I wake up and I hear Lucy speaking and kind of muttering to herself. And I'm a little <laughs> confused because it sounds like she's not too happy, but she's on the main floor now. This is abnormal because one, our hotel that we're staying in, the villa we're staying in, is like five floors, or four floors. And then two, she's on the main floor, which her room's the second floor, and she should be watching cartoons with Grace. But she's kind of playfully, but also a little sternly lecturing Grace. This is a weird. So I go down, and as I go, as I continue to go down, it continues to sound even more funny. She's talking about water, and talking about the <laughs> pool that was made. And I'm very confused and very Water concerned. And toddlers is no good. So I get down and I hear Lucy, I say, Lucy, what's wrong as I'm starting to head down? And she says, Grace flooded the entire downstairs. And I was not exaggerating. He thought I was exaggerating. Oh yeah, of course. You know, she, she spilled her drink. She flooded the floor <laughs> with milk. You know, and it's like, all right, all right. Like, whatever. So I head down and my first step on the floor is a nightmare. The whole thing's tile luckily. I step on, it literally is almost an inch and a half to two inches high <laughs> on the entire main floor of this villa. Now luckily we're in Vietnam and the floors are all tile. And it rained. And it was raining outside so at first I thought, there's no way this could have been from all of our kids. No, it was all us. Especially this cute little yeah. angel over so here. So apparently some genius thought it would be awesome to put a spigot so at dark. 12 inches off the floor. So literally what happens is with one twist, it's just one of the levers, with one little twist, a quarter of a turn, uh, you can turn on a fire hose in your bathroom. So <laughs> it's free, Grace free. doesn't really like water, or she doesn't really love being in it a whole bunch. So what probably happened is she went down, was gooping around, turned it on, it immediately started splashing her and she didn't know what to do. And so she her probably pajamas were just soaked. like bolted. <laughs> like her pajamas were so wet that I thought she had like gotten into the bath. So. 
we come down. <laughs> it's like an inch and a half, two inches. And Lucy's just cleaning it up. Like and a rock star. Like a total rock star. Wow. She's like crushing it. Mom and Trini. We worked on it for what? Like an hour? Uh, no, no. Two hours and like, 15 minutes. No, two hours. Well, that might be an exaggeration. We started around. But, it's probably about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, something like that. Out. Halfway through, I decided, you know what? It's time to teach Lucy about the chicken dance. So, we just, we, because we were standing on the towels and we would step, 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 step. And then when it that 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 we'd move our butt back and forth. And then you're da, all da, 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 da. Yeah, anyways. See, we're gonna go take our cruise out there among those islands. You gonna go see? So I've seen that room upstairs. Let's see if any of them are different. They might all be the same. Oh, okay, this is two twins. The top one is a king. We haven't made room assignments. Do not start us. This is pretty awesome and really funky. So we have this whole villa, which includes five separate rooms. Two have two twins, and three are kings. So in 40, we can have all separate rooms, almost. We're on our next adventure to Hanlang Bay. Hi, Grace. We're actually in Holland Bay, but we are headed to our cruise. I've had some drama with my eye, but we're on our way. We were able to delay a day, and thankfully because it's a private cruise, they're waiting for us.